Today, we are learning about the Reisher mushroom and its cultivation steps. Lingi, Ganoderma lingi, also known as Reisher, is a polypore fungus native to East Asia, belonging to the genus Ganoderma. It is a significant source of natural fungal medicines and has been used for the treatment of various diseases for many years. In nature, it grows at the base and stumps of deciduous trees, especially that of the maple. Only two or three out of 10,000 such aged trees will have lingji growth, and therefore, its wild form is rare. Lingji may be cultivated on hardwood logs, sawdust, or wood chips. General Description of the Mushroom It is reddish-brown, varnished, kidney-shaped cap with bands, and peripherally, inserted stem gives it a distinct fan-like appearance. When fresh, the lingji is soft, cork-like, and flat. It lacks gills on its underside, and instead releases its spores via fine pores, 80 to 120 micrometer size pore, and in yellow colors. Growing Conditions Temperature for spawn running, it requires 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. For pinhead formation, 18 to 24 degrees Celsius is favorable. But, for fruit body development, it needs 21 to 27 degrees Celsius. Humidity. Maintain 90 to 95% relative humidity in the farm. CO2 concentration. For spawn running up to 5000 ppm CO2 is enough. For fruiting body development, less than 2000 ppm is desirable. Cropping cycle. Two crops within 90 to 120 days. Substrate. Supplemented hardwood sawdust. 5% supplementation of the sawdust with rice bran or sorghum enhances yields with most strains. Rasher will not do well on straw. It is also possible to inoculate hardwood stumps with rasher plugs for outdoor cultivation. Rasher is grown on the sawdust of the broad-leaved trees, mango, poplar, coconut, shisham. Sawdust obtained from the saw mills is amended with 20% wheat bran and is wetted to a level of 65% moisture. Calcium sulfate or gypsum and calcium carbonate or chalk powder are added to get a pH of 5.5. Then, the mixed substrate is filled in polypropylene bags. The mouth, of which is then, plugged with cotton, after putting a plastic ring. Exactly like, wheat grain spawn pack, of mushrooms in poly bags. The bags, are then sterilized, in autoclave, at 22 psi, for 2 hours. After cooling, the substrate, is spawned with, wheat grain, or sawdust spawn at 3% on the dry weight basis, as it is, comparatively a, slow-growing fungus. Spawn run, or, incubation, is done, at 28 to 35 degrees Celsius, in the closed rooms, and darkness. After the complete spawn run, bags white all over, which takes, about 25 days, and, polythene top, is cut at the level of, the substrate, totally exposing the top side, and proper conditions for fruiting. Once the pinheads have grown up enough to form the cap, which is indicated by the flattening of the whitish top of the pinhead. At that time, humidity is reduced to 80% and more fresh air is introduced. Once the cap is fully formed, which is indicated by yellowing of the cap margin, which is otherwise white. Temperature is lowered to 25 degrees Celsius and relative humidity is further reduced to 60% for cap thickening, reddening, and maturation of the fruit bodies. Full maturity is indicated when the cap is fully reddish-brown and spores are shed on the top of the cap. Harvesting is done by the tight plucking, holding the root with one hand and pulling up with another. Scissors and knives can also be used, but no residual bud is left after harvesting. One cycle of the growing takes 10 to 15 days. After harvesting the first flush, conditions for pinning are again switched on for staring and completing the second flush. Harvested mushrooms, after washing with water, are dried at low temperature of less than 50 degrees Celsius.